All right, welcome back. So last video we talked about that toes to bar and a uh, great assistance exercise to build the strength for that toes to bar was the ab row roll out, which we don't always get to perform during class. Um, it's one of those things that you may need to, uh, to do a few sets and reps when you get to class early on or sometimes when you have a little bit of time afterwards. So how to perform it properly, right? So yeah, all you need is a, a little mat and your ab wheel. Uh, these are great because they're really cheap. Actually, you can get them at like Walmart for less than 10 bucks. They're a great uh, little tool that you can even do some extra reps at home to help you know, strengthen that core. You can never have too strong of a core. You can't over strengthen that that way. Um, so it's a great core exercise. So performing the ab wheel rollout first, let's demonstrate what it looks like. Let's break that down. So you can kind of see that throughout that uh, movement, I'm trying to maintain, hopefully you can see, I'm trying to maintain that hollow body position. So I've turned my abs on, gotten into that crunch position, I'm pushing my low back back into the floor, so to speak. And I've got that you know, flexed shoulder joint action. So I'm maintaining support of my body weight with both that shoulder joint and my abdominals. Very similar to the way that you perform the exercise with the toes of the bar. So setting up, we get our knees under our hips, towards the edge of the pad, our hands are going to be on the handles, with the wheel in contact with the ground. Before we even start our first rep, what we want to do is get into that cat position from our cat cow, really round that back, and lock those abs in that position. Almost over-exaggerate that position before you start your movements. What's going to happen is it's going to try to pull you into this arch position. If you're not over-exaggerated, over it might pull you into that position. If you are, at best, it'll pull you flat. Right? So over-exaggerated, abs are tight. If you're going to talk really well, press out my hips, get as far as I can, maintaining that, those abs tight, that round position as much as possible, and just extending and flexing at the shoulder joint. Just go down and back up. Ideally, in our best, best case scenario, you can get to your body being pretty close to parallel to the ground. That's going to be obviously a full range of motion. If you can't do that without maintaining that proper body position, then you don't really want to go that far. You don't want to go so far as to get into a bad position. So feel it out. You can feel it in your spine right away. If you start to arch, it's going to hurt your back. So in that power body position, if I can only go here, maintaining the position, just work reps there. Alright, and each time you each try to work a little like an inch farther as you go. Being patient, obviously, with yourself. Just really focusing on maintaining that good position. So, that will roll up. Uh, great strengthener exercise, A for the core for everything, but really carries over to that toes the bar as well. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for stopping by. Crossfit 15.